All right, today is a big day. As you've seen already in the title, it's not a secret anymore. I'm switching from Canon to Fuji and also from full frame to a crop sensor. There's a lot to be said there, that's for sure. And I will address that uh, and uh, my decision making process because it wasn't an easy decision by any means. Um, however, I will do that in the full review of the Fuji X-T4. Uh, this one is going to be just the unboxing and uh, first view of the camera and the 16 to 80 mil lens. Because what's inside the box or what's not inside might be a bit uh, unorthodox as far as uh, what cameras usually come with in the box. So, let's uh, jump straight to it. Today we're just going to cover the unboxing and uh, there's gonna be another video coming for um, the full review. I wanna be a bit careful with it, don't wanna damage the inside box because this doesn't look too, too big. So I don't think there's much space between uh, this and the actual box. There we go. The moment has arrived. Let's see if we can uh, take it off to the box as well. Hopefully that's not a problem. Oh yeah. And you gotta love the uh, minimalist uh, Fujifilm uh, packaging. There's not much else on it. Oh, my bad. It's the other way. There we go. Much, much better. I, I just don't, don't like any kind of dust on it because it's such a nice black. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? So, what we get inside is some papers. We don't want to check those out right now. Um, this is the manual, but also I see Capture One, uh, and I don't know if they include a one month subscription or anything like that, or just recommend Capture One. For those of you who don't know, uh, Capture One is uh, an editing program like Lightroom, but it's supposedly uh, better for Fujifilm cameras, or at least uh, this uh, type of sensor. Oh, look what we have here. But let's take a look at this one. This one is so, so big. It's as big as the entire box. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the, the big guy. So what we have here is the X-T4 with the 16 to 80 millimeter lens uh, kit. And I do recommend you to get this, uh, this combo because uh, not only you will save a lot of money on the lens, if you're going to, to buy this uh, separately, it will be a lot more expensive. But also it's uh, one of the newest uh, lenses from, uh, from Fujifilm. And what that means is that uh, it also has one of the best uh, autofocus systems and a bunch of other perks. So, this is the lens itself. It's not too big, but it does have a hefty, hefty weight to it. And you would expect that because it's, it's full metal, as you will see in just a second. Uh, and they also include a lens hood, which is a nice touch. Really cute. But what we care about is the lens. So uh, let's take a look at that. Wow, I gotta say this this feels so so nice. If if I was uh, an Apple user or something, I would just say it, it has a premium feel to it. <laughs> This is the lens, the 16 to 80 mil. And as I was saying, it's got a full metal body, which is a really nice thing. And uh, not only it feels 
super nice in hand it's really solid and it has a bunch of other features and uh, perks as well it also has an aperture ring which I will uh, show you because I already opened this and <laughs> I, uh, I took a sneak peek inside before this uh, and this ring sounds so so nice when you use it I mean let me just show you right now if I can I'll just bring it close to the microphone It's a really nice uh, aperture ring and uh, pretty cool to have it on your body but also it, it moves so uh, slowly and you have to put some, some force behind the uh, pushing uh, motion and it's also clicky, that's, uh, that's what I was trying to, uh, to let you hear. Um, this focus one feels amazing, it's the smoothest thing I've ever felt. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, en enough about that. Just wanted to uh, to show you the lens. Uh, it's an X mount, of course. Coming from uh, full frame, this looks a bit small, but uh, there's uh, that's not a problem. Uh, also, another quick mention: this is weather resistant. It has weather sealing all around the uh, all around the lens body, including uh, including here at the mount. Uh, let me just uh, show you for, for a brief second the front element as well. Um, there are a bunch of initials and uh, things around the lens which I will not get into right now. I'll explain it in uh, the video dedicated to this, uh, this beauty, which will come. This is not it, this is just the unboxing and uh, first, uh, first view. But let's, uh, let's move a bit to the next item camera. No, this is not the next item. <laughs> I'll just put it out of frame for a second. I'll get to it right away, don't worry. Uh, this is uh, the other box of goodies. And here we have a um, USB cable. And there's a reason why Fujifilm gives you this cable. And that is that uh, this is the only way you're going to be able to charge your uh, your camera. It doesn't have a battery charger, a standard one like uh, Canon or uh, Nikon uh, include in the box. It only gives you this cable and a charging brick, uh, very much like um, like a smartphone charging brick, I'd say. So you have this. And then you have the adapter according to your region. This is uh, the European one, which looks like this. And you just let me show you. Click it into place. Um, let me just take a look and also show you, tell you. This is apparently a 3 amps, 15 watts uh, charger. It's not crazy fast, but it's, uh, it's made for this battery, so yeah, it should be good. One complaint that I have is this is this cable. It's incredibly short. This is, I don't know, half a meter, not even. So yeah, this is, uh, this is basically the only way you have to charge your, your camera. Uh, well, it, it kind of it, it's cool and not at the same time because you know you can charge it like a smartphone. You can uh, even charge it from a power bank. You can charge it from your computer with uh, this uh, cable just by plugging it into the camera. But at the same time, it's super short, and I would prefer having a dedicated battery charger which uh, does exist. There's a very cool one from uh, Fujifilm, but it's, it comes separate and uh, it's for two batteries. Uh, I'll, I will just show it to you. It's not cheap, but besides the fact that it charges two batteries at the same time, it also has a display that shows you exactly the percentage of each battery. So it's one of the most advanced uh, chargers that I've seen. So this is the battery. 
Uh, it, <laughs> I gotta say, I like this uh, double barrel design. And compared to XT3, this is uh, greatly improved. It has 2200 milliamps, so it's uh, basically double the uh, capacity of the XT3. Um, it's not like you won't need uh, to charge it for, for weeks or anything, but yeah, compared to the previous version, it's a lot better. Um, I'm coming from the Canon 6D Mark II, so I can't help but compare them. That one had a um, 1800 milliamps one or something like that, but uh, it still managed to, to drain the battery slower than this. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it makes sense, this is a mirrorless. So we have the battery. Uh, oh, also, I didn't mention this. This is a USB type C to jack adapter. And this is uh, in case you want to plug your uh, headphones or earphones to the, um, to the camera to listen while you are recording the monitor, basically. Uh, this is the only way you can because the camera doesn't have a uh, jack input. It's not a big deal, but just be careful not to lose it. And uh, this is the strap, and I gotta say, I love this strap. Let me put the battery away for a second. So, this strap, I feel like it's one of the nicest straps uh, any manufacturer includes in, uh, in the box with the camera. It's uh, it's quite thick. It feels it feels padded. It's not one of those flimsy and thin ones like well, like quite honestly, uh, Canon includes as well, uh, along with any other manufacturer. So yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a nice feeling uh, strap. I don't know if I'll use it because it's. It's kind of big <laughs> compared to the size of the camera. This 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 is so big, but yeah, it, it's definitely nice to have. And uh, thank you Fuji for including it. But let's let's get serious here. This is what you came for. It has a sigil on the back, and well, I've already opened it, so uh, this is why. I, it will open pretty easy. The first time it didn't, and it also leaves uh, some residue on uh, on the plastic, so that you know if someone opened it before you or not. Just a sneak peek inside. And I'll be honest, the first time uh, I, uh, I decided to get this, I wanted the silver version, but they didn't have it available, <laughs> so this is what I got. And I gotta say, I am happy they didn't have the silver version. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous and not not that I don't like the silver one anymore, but yeah, they, they're both gorgeous in their own uh, way, hard, hard to choose. Uh, these uh, little leather things, I guess they are to not uh, scratch the paint. Um, I think you can take them off because they might be annoying for some people. But yeah, this is this is the initial view, the first encounter, let's say, with the Fuji XT4. I love these. I just I, I gotta say, they are so satisfying to to switch. You can block them. I mean, lock them. This one as well. So this one is the ISO. This one is the shutter speed. And this one is exposure compensation. I don't use exposure compensation that much, but uh, yeah, it's good to have. And this one moves a lot uh, harder. It takes a lot more force to, to move this one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, one other thing which I like about the uh, X-T4 is this delimitation between still and movie. This is so cool. When you want to take photos, you take photos and you have separate menus for that. But when you want to take some videos, you have it right here and you can switch uh, instantly, basically. And another thing which I like 
is uh, this uh, this switch on the front, which switches from uh, single focus, uh, continuous focus, and manual focus. Oh, another thing which I didn't mention is that the lens doesn't have any kind of buttons on it. Uh, I guess that's also to help with the weather sealing, which the body also has. So both the body and the uh, lens are weather sealed. It has a very nice texture. I'm sure you can uh, see it. It's um, reminiscent to some other times, I guess. Yeah, th th this camera is, I, I call it a modern classic because it looks so so retro, so vintage, but it's it's got the latest tech, absolutely. So let me show you the uh, screen. It's a tilty, flippy one, which some people will hate, but for hybrid camera, this is definitely a must. And it's a it's a pretty cool screen also. It's uh, it's not too bad. I will uh, maybe put some specs for you on the screen as far as the resolution goes. Uh, also, it's it's got a uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So this kind of also shows you how this camera is uh, quite uh, video or film oriented. Let me show you the other parts. This is the SD cards bay. This, this door is quite nice and uh, it's also weather sealed, of course. This camera takes uh, two uh, UHS-2 uh, SD cards, which is nice, but we'll see if they are um, a must because they are quite expensive compared to UH UHS-1. Uh, my version is uh, made in China, but I know some are made in uh, Japan. So I don't know how that works. Uh, it's probably... Uh, some go to Europe, some go to other places, I don't know. Uh, it's got a uh, USB-C input, which <laughs> with this uh, with this input you can, you can basically do everything. You can charge it, you can transfer files, you can um, listen <laughs> to your headphones. It's got a uh, mini HDMI. So also it's got the uh, remote and microphone input. Not too bad. And uh, I didn't mention, but this door, you can take it off. If, I don't know, for some reason you wanna hot swap some SD cards or anything. I don't think I ever will, but yeah. The uh, battery bay is right here. And let's put it inside, why not? Also, let me show you the uh, the sensor. This is of course a uh, crop sensor camera. And this is the crop sensor that it has. It's very, well, very small compared to a full frame, where I'm coming from, but uh, yeah, I, I, okay. I don't wanna say more about this. <laughs> it will come in the in the review video of this. Yeah, that's that's all you get for now. Also, you have all sorts of customizable wheels and buttons. You can also press this in the in the front as well. You can also you can both uh, spin them and press them for different ac actions. And of course, this has uh, an EVF rather than uh, an optical viewfinder. It's electronic, but uh, yeah, I won't be showing that in this video, as I said. This is just a first uh, impressions video, and I uh, just wanted to show you guys what's inside the box, uh, what you can expect, what you can uh, not expect. But yeah, my only complaint so far is that cable. This, this is, this is a travesty. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of exaggerating a bit, but it's so short. You could have put at least a one meter one. Come on, Fuji. But yeah, I'll probably get uh, another battery for it and um, also consider that uh, dual battery charger that they have. What a beautiful piece of tech. I will, of course, make a full review of the X-T4 and the lens, but I can't promise it's going to come out next week uh, because I don't want to rush it. I want to have the opportunity to properly use this camera before giving you guys my uh, opinions about, uh, about both of them. However, 
as far as I've seen and uh, I've tested, it's pretty impressive to say the least. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to find out when the full review is going to come out. Till then, stay safe and see ya.